Welcome back to another episode of Get That Bread, guys. You're probably wondering what the hell you've just clicked on by looking at the thumbnail, but pretty much the next time I do this. The windows. This thing will make this happen. So we're not going to waste any time and get stuck straight into it guys. So when I say I'm going to give the nav some more brain power, this is what I'm talking about. So pretty much this little box, no idea how it works or anything, but um, it's pretty much going to tell the nav whenever I lock, when I lock the doors, uh, if I've got a window open, it needs to wind it up. So um, there's no instructions in the kit or anything. Um, I'm assuming these plug into the window switches in the driver's side door. Um, and it just comes with a bit of uh, Velcro slash sticky stuff to put the box somewhere. So, um, no idea what I've got to do to get it in there. Um, I'm assuming I've got to take the door card off, but I will mess around with it for a little bit. Um, and hopefully it doesn't take too long and then the nav will have some more brain power so let's just get stuck straight into it. Alright so the door card is off that took longer than it should have. Pretty much you pop all the clips around the outside um, you need to take off this bit that's sitting here and then you also need to take off for try to pull it out the surround of your handle uh, don't be like me and i crack mine good times and you also need to in the door handle take out the little floor in there and there's a screw that you need to undo as well so now that that's off um I also had to unplug the puddle light and then all the switches that were connected to the window switches. So now should be a matter of figuring out how this all connects up. So I'm just trying to figure out where everything plugs into. What I've figured out is that's obviously going to go in there what I've named the brain. This goes into your window switches and I didn't realize that this actually goes up to the mirror which makes the mirrors fold in as well like the SDX is so I didn't realize that that was a thing so that's pretty cool. Uh, so when you lock your car your mirror should fold in if you plug those ones in. I'm just trying to figure out where these go. Alright, update so just got the box plugged in, then the new wires have taken their spot in the switch, then your old wires will plug into these, so it'll take over that. This one still needs to plug into uh, the standard one on your loom, because uh, that's just how you're going to control your mirrors still. And I figured out these, actually, which makes sense. Um, there's a wire in here, can't really see it, I'll pull it out in a second, which is connected to your locks, so that all makes sense. So it's taking over your windows when it needs to, and then it's taking over your mirrors when it needs to, once I plug those in, into that one. And then it also knows when you're locking the car, so it knows when to put the windows up and put the mirrors in, so God, it's hot near today. Yeah, figured it out. Who needs instructions? That was an absolute bitch to get out, but we got there. Now it's just a push tab and then pull it out. So now I can finish putting these all in and then put the door card on. Um, full disclaimer, no idea what I'm doing. Not 100% sure if I was meant to uh, unplug the battery whilst doing this, so. Uh, let me know in the comments if I was meant to, but I haven't so far and nothing's broken yet. See what happens when I plug it all in. 
Probably an important thing to note is when you're running the wire for the lock, run it through this little opening here, so in there and in, so then you can close this all back up. I nearly forgot to tell you guys what I'm doing with the actual box itself, so I um, think just up in here, somewhere there, should be right to be mounted. Um, one thing to consider is it can't be here, right there, because that's where the handle and your bolt goes through and everything, so yeah, it'll have to be just to the, the left of that section there. She's nearly done. Nearly done, then we can test it. Ladies and gentlemen, door card is back on. Everything is connected. The moment of truth. As soon as I hit the lock button, it should go up. Holy shit. What a time to be alive. My mirrors didn't go in, but I'm assuming there's a trick to that. Okay, so the internet lied to me and the mirrors do not automatically fold if you have an ST you have to have the STX models and up um, the ones that already have the um, folding functionalities but the windows work which is awesome um, figured out if whilst it's locked you go lock unlock lock it'll just open them ever so slightly if it's a super hot day and you want to wind your windows down before you get in the car you go unlock lock unlock in a way and the windows go. So cool. Not a bad little modification for about 150 bucks. It only took about a half hour. Just take the door card off, plug new stuff in, put the door card back on. So happy days. If you guys want to support the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But otherwise, I will see you guys in the next episode. There's plenty to come. Sneak peek. Sneak peek. See you guys.